In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create custom length cables to run an SDI video signal. To do this, make sure that you have the correct tools, you have the cable, and you have the connectors. With your cable and connectors, make sure that the cable size is the same as your connectors. In this case, I have an RG6 cable, and my connectors fit an RG6 connection. I bought both of these at a local hardware store. I'm going to measure out the cable that I'm going to use. In this case, I'm just using it as a test cable to make sure cameras and equipment are working. I'm going to just measure off a little bit from the spool of cable that I have. When I have the amount that I want, I'm going to cut the cable, and I want to get a nice flat cut, so I have a pair of wire cutters. So you want to make sure that both ends have been cut and they're nice and flat on the edges. If you need to cut again, it is okay to do that. When you measure your cables, make sure to give a little extra space than you may need. This will allow for slack or a little extra room if you need it. Once you have your cable cut to the correct size, you're going to strip the cable of the outer casing as well as the insulation. To do that, there's this special tool. It looks like this. And this tool basically lets you put the cable in and you can spin it around. There's this black slider here, which basically indicates how big the cable is going to be cut. So I make sure the slider's in place. I then want to push my finger down, which will open up where the blade is for the cable. I stick one cable inside. I release, then with my thumb, I twist around. There's razor blades in here that are actually cutting. Once you've twisted a few times and it feels rather loose, you simply pull off and you'll notice that it has stripped a couple of layers. It's stripped the outer plastic cable, the outer plastic casing, and now it has stripped the inner casing and you can see the center copper wire. The next thing you need to do is fold back the silver strings or wires. Make sure that they are not in the way. You're going to take one of your connectors Now these connectors have a clear window so you can see when they are pushed on. I'm going to push this connector on as far as I can do it, like so. It takes a little bit of force, but you can see when the cable goes in, there's a clear indicator. You want to make sure that the cable goes as far up on the connector as it can. So I push this in. Next you take your tool. This is a Klein tool, and you want to put the cable inside this area, this pocket, and you're going to press down. If you need to adjust the size of your tool, you just simply spin, and this will adjust the position of where you're going to connect this in. I put this in, and when you push it down, you want to make sure it closes off that clear gap that's inside there. Once you have squeezed it in there, you can see that it's been crimped on there and it's going to hold. You can see the center copper wire through the B and C connector. You're going to complete the process with the other side. You're going to connect the B and C connector to the edge. We need to cut off the plastic I want to get rid of the casing from the previous one. I simply press down and I can dump that out. I want to make sure it gets in the garbage. There's the other connection. And I make sure that it is clean inside. With it clean, I check, make sure everything is set. It, it has the black stopper in the right place. I press this in as far as it will go. And then again, I repeat the process. I spin until it feels loose, and then I pull it off. I then peel back 
the small wires that act as the extra insulation. If your cable does not have small wires, do not peel back just the foil. Leave the foil there. You're going to then take the BNC connector, the British Naval connector, you're going to slide it on, getting the casing to go all the way in. Once it is all the way in, you're going to put your connector inside the crimping tool. And again, you just press with some force. And this will close down You want to make sure that it's closed and that clear, that clear space has closed. This will indicate it is finished. Then pull to make sure that it is tight. And then what you will do is test this with your cameras. So you want to make sure that always test your cables before you use them. You want to plug them in. You push, you slide it on and twist. Connect the other end to your TV or your source and make sure that everything is working. If everything is good, then this cable is ready to go and be put into use. This is called coaxial cable or coax cable. You're able to run an SDI video signal through coax cable for a few hundred feet. This makes it a great option for video production. Different cables have different run lengths. Make sure that you check the run length of the cable that you are using to make sure that it is sufficient for the job that you are doing.